Hello everyone, Ted the old Star Wars nerd here. I hope you're doing well and I want to thank you for joining me today as we go over this Star Wars headline I found. Or actually, I didn't found it. It was brought to my attention from Holocron Keeper Evan. He did a great video on a bunch of stuff that's going to be coming to Disney Plus here soon. And if it turns out to be true, it's going to be great. I'm really looking forward to some of that. Even though I don't have Disney Plus anymore, it would be good for it to be on there. Hopefully they get it in like a a much better format than what's been seen before. All I have are copies of the stuff on from old uh, VHS tapes and whatever else I could dig up along the way and find on YouTube. But anyway, to the article that Evan found. Well, I couldn't find the article he found, but I found one that's basically the same thing. It came out today. And so here it is. What's new on Disney Plus in April 2021? So... Looking at this here, starts out innocently enough, just talking about the stuff that's going to be coming to coming out here. There's top pick for April. This is the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I don't know if I'm going to be watching that or not. It just hasn't really, it hasn't really grabbed my attention too much. I mean, it'll be you know fun superhero type movie or series, I guess, with some good action in it. But yeah, I don't know. It just hadn't grabbed my attention. So I don't know. I may find a way to watch it. I may not. It's not really a must-see for me. But anyway, on to the main point. Everything new on Disney Plus in April. So it comes out here and it lists all this new stuff. Higley Town Heroes, Last Ice, Third Man on the Mountain. There's a lot of stuff I never even heard of. Night at the Museum? Well, that's good. That was a good museum. That was a good uh, movie. Battle of the Smithsonian? That's a good movie. Is that the third one? Battle of the Smithsonian? If so, that's that's Robin Williams' last movie, I believe. Uh, but here is what I was looking for. Caravan of Courage and the Ewoks Battle for Endor. Now, these were going to be some of the next videos I watched. Or not next, but it's coming up soon. I was going to watch the Ewoks movies because I did all the Ewoks series, uh, the cartoons. And that was really fun. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. If you can, go check them out. I'll put a link. Yeah, maybe up there somewhere <laughs> if I can figure out how. But yeah, Caravan of Courage and the Ewoks Battle for Endor. That's going to be great to have in uh, updated format of uh, DVD quality, anything better than what I was able to find. I found the Skull and Crossbones version that was just not very good off uh, from where I found it. <laughs> but anyway, so this would be awesome to have in a good, good quality. Um, Story of the Faithful Wookiee. I'm not familiar with that. Oh, I mean, here we go. Star Wars Ewok Season 1 and Season 2 they're going to be putting on there, supposedly. So you might want to go watch my videos soon because I'll probably be getting a takedown notice here very soon. <laughs> they're probably going to come take down my videos of the Ewoks. So then you move on. And you come to, what was that I saw in here as I was scrolling through earlier? So let's see, that's coming out supposedly April 2nd. So I guess we'll see here two weeks or so. But then after that, what was that? I thought he said droids. I thought he said the droids were coming out. I'm not seeing it on here. But that doesn't mean much. Let's just go back up. Did I miss it? Very possible. Very possible. There's New Walk the Plank, Secrets, the Zoo, Not the Museum. No, I don't see droids in this list. But I believe Evan said that they were coming, so that would be awesome. I love those droids cartoon. They were great. They were great. So go check them out if you haven't. I'll try to put a... Well, I don't know if I can put a link up for that. <laughs> I don't know how that works. But anyway, so... And then maybe in March... Let's see. No, because otherwise it would have been out by now. Unless it comes out at the end of the month. March 26th. Nomeo and Juliet. Ooh. My kids loved that show. And I am not seeing droids, but... Either way... Either way, it will be great to have the, the Ewoks series and the movies 
in a much better format than what's currently available out on the internet if you go looking so anyway that will be great i'm really looking forward to that maybe i'll finally watch those two movies if i can get them in a good quality that would be great and may have to see what the story of the faithful wookie is that sounds like something i've heard before but i can't quite place it well let's just look for it let's see what we can find the story of the faithful wookie from wikipedia Oh, is that from the, that's from the holiday special. Is that what they called the story that Boba Fett was in? Awesome. I didn't, I didn't know it had a official name, but that's, that's really cool. I've got a video on that too. Go check it out. The first appearance of Boba Fett in the Star Wars holiday special. It's got the full cartoon. You can go watch it and tell me what you think. Um, I'll try to put a link to that up there too. <laughs> but anyway, that is cool. That is so cool. That'd be good to see. So that's the, the first showing of Boba Fett. Nice. Star Wars Clone Wars Volume 1, Volume 2. The Clone Wars are already on Disney Plus, aren't they? Could have swore they were. But anyway. So that looks pretty cool. I'm really looking forward to that. That'll be that'll be pretty cool. Always good to have more Wookies and or uh, Ewoks and uh, droids. So there you go. Just a quick video on what may be coming to Disney Plus here soon. Hopefully Evan's right on this. I really hope so. Um, and hopefully the droids will be there too, like he says. That'll be great. Love the droids. The droids cartoon, and that might be a prelude to the uh, new droid stories series that's supposedly coming out next year or two that they announced back in november or december whenever that big announcement was they announced all these new shows and one of them was a droid story which is supposed to be c3po and r2d2 going out and having some adventures but i haven't heard anything else about it since then but hopefully it'll be a pleasant surprise i'm looking forward to it so anyway i hope you enjoy that and come back again and let's watch some other star wars stuff and go over other headlines and just keep the news and old star wars memories alive all right thank you very much for joining me i am ted the old star wars nerd please leave a comment below click the like button click the subscribe button click that bell for notifications all right thank you so much again for joining me and take care i hope to see you again soon